So now we have a 2007 uh, 3500 GMC Sierra. We're going to be doing the water pump, thermostats, upper lower hose, belt, both idlers and the tensioner. So I guess we'll get started on it. And I've tried to play a game where hopefully I have enough tools to do the entire job. I don't have to keep getting up and down. So we'll see what actually happens. Usually I get up down 50 times. Start by pulling that. These ones are a little bit fun. I'm gonna move the camera right there and try to get everything. So, you usually gotta start over there first. You gotta take these four. So down there, there's two tens on the bottom, and then there's one right here, and then you have to make sure you get this clip. You don't want to break that clip. If you do, um, generally this AC line will start rubbing, and then you'll put a hole in it, so down the road. You don't want that. So you just pinch it, just put a little pincher, pinch it, you're good to go. And then the other thing I'm gonna go is, I'm gonna get down and set this stuff down. Grab my air hose. It's right there. So next, gotta get this charge tube. These ones are pretty easy. Let's pop the clip out. You gotta find the end of it. I think it's gonna be over here. And I just pull them, pull them out like this. You wanna be delicate. We don't wanna break or bend them. They're pretty pliable. And down here, I don't know if you guys can see right here. I don't see that big head the same thing then what you do is you take the bottom and pop it out again and then I usually push it like that push it down twist it out and then I like to put the clips back on it's not hard to put them back in when they're in. I just don't want to lose them. Then there's two clips on either side. Yep. You got, I can cut it out. 
drop that. On that Sunday? Okay. Yeah, I think I already fixed some of it, didn't I? Did you? Yeah, I think I went in there and fixed it already. But did you order those smaller arms? I don't think I ordered anything. Okay, can I get a cheaper? Okay. I found that strip of stress. Okay. Loaded. Huh? You did? Yeah. Come here. Oh, okay, cool. Really? That's not bad. Go Brandon and I. I'm trying to keep it all the same as it was in the Well, the controller is a lot cheaper. Yeah. I guess I can try it. Yeah. I think this is, uh... How was that guy? He was cool? What did he say about his programmer? No, he said, I'm going to look and everything works fine. The guy's going to call me at 1 o'clock for the zip. Zip. Cool. I got to do this and I got to do dust. I want to talk to Ray and see if I can get that fucking forklift today. Where's it at? Look, right down the street from my house. I got my trailer and it's an Ollie. Go fucking load that thing up and. Oh, do you know, like, you remember I was looking for a uh, port. Like, they're, like, anywhere from four to eight grand. Is it a gas or a natural gas? He doesn't know. No. I don't care. Where, who's in it? Huh? Who's is it? So, Bob. Bob, uh, Stephanie's husband? So, I guess the dad died. Bob's dad passed away. Oh, wow. Got bitten on the by a German Shepherd. Died 90 seconds later. Ah, oh, it ripped him off Ripped the blood. artery out. Oh. Bled out. So, Bob's dad died. And then the mom's still alive, but she's on pills and all this crazy crap. She's living the crazy life right now. They, I guess this happened a year ago, so they let that place go. You know, it just sat there, right? What, what place is this? The fucking the Reynolds yard. Remember oh. when you drive on the freeway, you see all those those lifts okay. that were on the side of the freeway? Mm -hmm. That was his dad's yard. They had hundreds of uh, millions did, of dollars. Did parents live out here? The mom still does. Oh, okay. So, people were stealing all the shit off the property. They stole skid steers, they stole tractors, all kinds of stuff. So Bob went in there and, and got all this stuff moved to somebody's yard, you know, because the, the yards are huge over by my house. And the guy's been keeping this stuff there for him. And Bob, Bob's been selling this stuff up there. But these two generators, he's got sold for $55,000. Oh, wow. They're not going to generators. So I, we were talking, me and Ray were talking last night. And I was like, so what other equipment do you guys got to get? Do you get more stuff to pick up? And he goes, yeah, we got this skid steers, we got this and that, and Bob gave us a forklift, and, wow. and you know, we're doing it, you know? Uh-huh. And I'm like, what are you going to do with the forklift? Because you want it? Yeah. You just can have it. I don't care what we'll do your truck for the labor for free. <gasps> Andy would be gracious to do that. I'll still pay you for it. <laughs> but we definitely need a forklift. A little card. We'll make a little thing here. Yeah. Pop on the, on the ball, you know? Nah, I make life a lot easier. So, there's three 13 millimeters on the fan shot, one here, one in each corner. Um, they look like this. I found this 13 mil gear wrench to be the best to get them out. That works the best, then you just tap the fan out. To loosen it, you want to hit the fan on these trucks. Counterclockwise? You want to be careful not to let it touch the radiator.
14s. I'll show you when I get this out. There's five total on this. There's three bolts and two nuts. I can bring you guys in a lot closer now. We've got some more room. And that's, that's how I do that. Gotta be careful not to break the connector. You see there's a stud right here, bolt, bolt, and then over here, probably too dark for you guys to see, it's a nut. And then you have a bolt. And then this thing just pops right off. And you got two hands available, of course. Okay. And now. And now I need a bucket, and then I'm gonna have to install the tool to hold the thing. So let me go grab a bucket, and then we'll put the tool in. So, unfortunately, I can't really see much. So we're just gonna go off the field. Gotta pop this cover. You're not gonna hurt it doing this. And you take this as the tool for the, the pickup trucks. Slide it. Sometimes you gotta turn the engine over. Oh, put it right in. Okay, pulls in. Oh, now we're gonna loosen it. it doesn't look that long. Okay. So it looks like it's a 36 millimeter tool point for the balancer. And then what's cool about these trucks? Well, I like Chevy's. I'm gonna kind of prove me wrong. And generally slightly. Okay, let me set this down somewhere. So this is the water pump. I'm gonna try not to get my camera soaked in coolant today, but we're going to loosen the clamp on the bottom. I thought that was number eight. Oh, was it? No. What kind of coolant do you have in here? There's green coolant in here? That's no. Oh, looks like a mixture. No, it doesn't. That's how it is. You got a brush. You got a brush of artists. Did you call? You call with the thing? Yeah, but they don't show any. They don't show a number. Of course. I don't know why they sent us one. Are you sure they don't? They don't show them because they they had them the other day. I don't know. Maybe they, they decided to send them. I call. I I would call Tony and ask. Just tell them because if if they're not going to sell us stuff like that, just tell them we're just not going to order from you guys. Yeah. You know, because it's it, it screwed up for our customers. So about that leak a little bit. And um, so the balancer has to come off because right here there's a 12 millimeter nut. And then there's a 12 millimeter bolt. So you have to take these two 12s out. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this right here. There's a hose right here that has to be uh, removed. I usually just cut them and I just replace them with a piece of really nice heater hose. 
But I'm just gonna let it drip a little bit more. Okay, still draining. I don't want to rip this lower hose. We should be replacing it, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's do that and get a little bit more coolant out of there. And we'll return when it's uh, drained a little more. Okay, so now that it's drained a little bit, we're going to pop this off. Put some silicone in it. No, good. Maybe. I'll just cut this. Drip. Yeah, twist it. Twist it just till it's past the water pump right there. It just pops it right out. I can't even see what I'm doing. Let me bake these. Okay, that's a little better. So these are kind of a tricky pipe to do. So I'm gonna just give it a wiggle. At least it didn't silicone it. Okay, and there's that. And now we'll be getting new O-rings. Now is the fun part. There's two 12s that hold the, there's a pipe that goes to the side of this. You have to disconnect those. I usually go around. Give it a good, good old fashioned reach around. And they're generally two 12 millimeter nuts. Depending on who's worked on them before, so that's cool. Well, we're going back on like that. There's one nut. It's like a magic show. This one you usually have to get underneath. Let me try. I get this off. It's a really snug fit. <laughs> yeah, I gotta bring my truck in and go through it before we go. I haven't even, I just start up and drive it every once in a while. Oh. <laughs> and shit. Uh, we don't need those. Let's see if I can, uh-huh. Okay. You can leave it, I'll grab it. Then we're gonna need a 12. You got green coolant in there, huh? Yeah. Um, orange in there, so that's definitely Yeah, it looks a little greenish orange. Look, there was like a mix. Another 12. And then we have this little guy right here. The water from the sea sand. Yeah. Let's see what brand it is. It seems love to leak. Let's try to split it without. Don't silicone it. Yeah. You film everything? Yeah, I started this week. It's my first time really getting into it. I have tons of content. Yeah, I'm trying to just to branch off and do something else and see how this works out. I think this will be uh, short term more successful. It looked like it was leaking. No? Yeah. Well, it was. Yeah, look at that crap. And they use the paper gaskets, so that's nice. Don't ever use the paper gaskets. What kind is it? Uh, this one, uh, the water pump? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's not a, uh, it doesn't appear to be a GM pump though, because GMs don't use the 12 mil or the 10 millimeter bolt heads. It's leaking, the water pump. You see how like green right there? No. Oh, it's leaking out of the weep hole. So it was good that we changed it. Yeah, look at the cool These things are awesome. 
hard. I gotta double hand it. That looks clean. Looks good, actually. That worked actually a lot better. Usually they're a lot more stuck on than that. So I've already prepped the new water pump. This one, the water pump that the customer supplied, it is uh, complete with the housing. So it's gonna get all this stuff cleaned up again. So the water pump comes complete with the housing. You just have to transfer the studs off the old one. This is a, a GMOE water pump. So you want to make sure you put the, the studs in and then the o-ring grease everything up so it doesn't pinch that seal because you don't want this thing leaking and i did put a little silicone on this metal gasket i usually don't like to i don't like using silicone when it's not necessary but with them putting uh with, with me having to cut that piece up pretty good that pipe i just i don't like putting it back together like that so going back to it is what it is and then there's three you got one long stud goes on the driver's side the short bolt i'm sorry the long bolt goes on the driver's side the small one goes on the top and then the nut goes on the passenger side we just get them started that one didn't want to start Tight. That one's tight. And then we are changing the lower hose, so I'm not going to reconnect it right now. I just want to get everything else hooked back up. Here we can put the. We'll get the pipe in. Let me. I got to connect the, the two nuts on the back pipe right now. Just cleaning it off. It's got a lot of stuff on it. Remember the two 12 millimeter nuts, you gotta put them on the back. You can't forget about that. <laughs> it off goes. There's the top one. These have to be pretty tight. If they're not, they will leak. There's, oh, there's the top one. The bottom one's a little bit more of a pain in the butt. I try to do it sometimes from the underside, but they're fun either way you go. These you want to get them, dare I say, as tight as you can with the little tiny sockets. These two nuts on the back. So if you don't get them tight, it will leak. You don't want that. I'm thinking, since the lower hose is off, I might be able to get this one right here. Yeah, you're good, Mike. What do you got? That's okay. Oh yeah, that was, you never have to replace those. No, no, no that'd be perfect. on your fingers. <clears throat> I might have to grab a different wrench. 
This one's gonna be too big. I'm trying using this ratchet. I'm gonna drop it down on the rows. It won't fit. Okay, let me grab a different wrench. And then um, let me go prepare this pipe real quick. But before we do that, I should take this side off. You can put the clamp back that way. Just cut the hose, it doesn't matter. This hose is old by the time we get in here. Here's the original for an 07, 250,000 miles on it. So now that's ready. We get a little grease on there. What I do is put this hose on there. And I use really, this is like a crazy heater hose. Cause it works the best. If you use like regular little dinky half inch hose, it doesn't work. Oh, cool. I'd go buy more. Huh? Yeah, is it still good? Woohoo, cool. I'm looking at the camera. That sucked. Okay. Okay, let that dry for a second. Well, I'm supposed to go grab a wrench and tighten that. Not do this. Just gotta change the hoses and the thermostats. Unfortunately, everything's so hard to get a hold of nowadays. This is fun. So, you want to make sure you get it as straight as possible. You do. You want to try to go on like this. These o rings are really easy to pinch. Very, very. So, I keep my finger and I feel for it. And then, just to be double sure, you just look with a mirror. Here. Oh, that's what's his name? Uh, Dustin got that for me. Okay. Dustin got that for me. What, not for you? Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. Mom said he was sending me something. That's nice. I figured that was something to do with that. Hey, we look good. So make sure that's not pinched. And you can feel it if it binds. If it's binding, it's usually pinched. Well, that doesn't feel like it's in. That was weird. That's weird. Pipe, that's weird. Very, very weird, weird feeling. I see he's trying to pinch the back. You feel it? Okay. Okay. Went in. 
can't go in like that though. Try to go in as straight as you can. I usually go in like this. Get the pipe like that. You just keep your finger around the back. You want to feel if that seal pops out. It seems it's weird. Usually they go right in. It's good though. But either it happened to me or it happened to you. So we're just going to slide it up in there. I'm going to see if I can. I don't want to. It's hitting the timing coming now. Yeah, that's not right. Okay. So let's pop this in. That's weird. Very, very weird feeling. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Okay, let's check it again and see. Yeah, usually not that funky, but this truck is a little weird. I've seen people cut these pipes before. I gotta clean the mirror off a little bit. I don't wanna have to take the back apart again for this pipe. Mirror's still dirty, but looks fine. And like I said, you can usually tell if you go to twist it and it binds, it usually should be pretty smooth. See, like that just turns. You wanna make sure you don't pinch that bottom one either. So usually. What I try to do, I grab this, push it back a little bit more. Then you pop that, get the lip on there. You want to be very careful of this hose, you don't want to put a hole in it. Just grab my pick. So you want to be very careful where you, where you put the pick at. Do not want to puncture that hose. Okay, no, we're good. Okay, cool. So you put the two twelves back in. Of course, gotta use power tools. I usually use a three inch. But we'll hold it. Doesn't hit the radio. Tight. get a run on it that's good and now i'm gonna spray a little lube in there just to help it it's a little water displacement 40. and we're gonna go and slide the clamps over and then you're gonna go back here and i usually just pry on it sometimes if there's not this thing's kind of bent too oh. Kind of see. Let's get on the hose, put it around the hose. If I need a nose, I'll just push it. Let's walk it. I'm gonna try not to grab the hose too much. Okay. That's fine right there. And we'll go ahead and. Socket. And then next we'll start doing the lower hose so we can put the fan tread back in. There's that one. Nope, that one's stripped. Can't use that one now. Usually pretty careful, but you know, it happens. That's why you should not use uh, power tools. Truthfully, 
Huh? That thing, yeah, you get a pry bar. You put a pry bar, see there on the driver's side, front of the cylinder head, there's a hook, a black hook. Yeah, look, go more towards my side. Keep looking, come towards my side. Come towards the driver's side more. There's a hook on it. You stick the pry bar in there and then you pry against the pipe as you wiggle it. Red stuff coming down. That looks fine. Just gonna make sure you're on the beat the nipple, then the nipple's right there, and the nipple's right there, so we're good. Okay. Well, it time. So now we're gonna get up here. Move you guys up here. Let's stop it, and we're gonna change. So for the lower hose on these. They're kind of a pain. This is the one that gives the water pump. That one, sorry, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Uh, this is the one for the water pump. That one's already off. And there's two more. There's one that goes to the heater hose pipe. It's right there. And then there's one that goes to the coolant reservoir right here. So let me pop this one off first. Let me see if I can find a good spot so you can see. Okay, hopefully you can see. Once we get the lower hose in, we can start on the other side. I just lift that up like that, grab this one, go wiggle, wiggle, comes right off. And obviously you don't want this, you throw this away. We'll toss that. And then up here, we're, gonna, we're not ready for that yet. Set that up there. This one's kind of a pain. We need to throw the adults away, we're not using that. And just go like that, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, those two are off. Now we gotta go do the lower hose. I'm gonna try to do it from the top. Uh, we're not going to. Let's do it from the bottom. Okay, so there's the lower hose. This one right here. We have a brand new one, so we're just gonna go ahead and clip if we break it it's not a big deal shouldn't really break though just that right there pops right out um so we need to pull this skid plate off now get access in there so i can drain the hose and i can pop it off the yeah. pop the skid plate should be 415s i haven't looked but that's usually what it is push this back so i can access that bolt Oh, spill a little bit. I'll clean that up in a second. Set these aside. Set that over there. Okay. Now we need to take this hose down and drain it. If not, we're going to be in for a mess. There's that side. And then the one other thing is too, it clips in right here. You want to try to get that out without breaking it. So the lower hose actually clips in this plastic bracket. The new hoses don't come with these brackets. So I usually use my pick. You can usually get them out without breaking them. I might go grab my clip tool. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab my clip tool so I feel more comfortable. But in the meantime, we're going to get this off. So the trick is with these, I usually go on the corners right here. I try to get in here and pry it. But sometimes, let me see if I can, I need to get you guys a good spot so I can do this. See how the tie rod works. Okay, I think, I think you can see me, right? Can you see? No, not really. Can't see past that, huh? <laughs> okay, you can see better right there. So I usually go like this. I just take my pick. i be very careful with these tanks on these radiators though. You do not want to break this radiator. See it, just pop out. 
You gotta make sure the clip's out when you do this or else I usually take the clips all the way out so I'm 100% sure. And then this isn't ideal. You shouldn't do this. I just pop a little bit on that side just so it comes off straight. So it comes right off. So now let me go grab my clip tool. I'm gonna pop that clip out. Now, let's see if we get this. I don't know which way the camera's being held, but there we go. I don't think I broke it. Cool. So let's go ahead and try to remove it. It's gonna be a little tight. So you wanna come over here. Let's see if I can do it without making a mess. Cause these do hold quite a bit of coolant still. Okay. Pull that off. The bucket underneath. Then I usually pull it through the bottom right there like that. Okay. So now, this is where we're at. I like to take them out to the bottom. You want to remember? Oh, want to remember which way it goes in and out? We're gonna push that back for now. Get out of the way. Here's a new one. Goes in like so. Let's see. Okay. So as you can see, we have this one right here. Let me turn you guys a little bit. Get a better view. Okay, well, this isn't too bad. So this one right here is folded up down there. I'm gonna pull this. Pull this up. Just be careful not to break the thing. This is pretty tough right here. We're gonna put green back in it. Except what came out of it. I don't really like green in these trucks, but it's not good to mix. Never ever want to mix coins. Especially when they get thanks cool. These, these come pre lubricated. <laughs> nice, that one feels like it's in all the way, but we're gonna double check it when we get, we'll go back down there. I still have to put that in. This goes like that. That one goes like that. ahead of this game. I have some hose clamps. We're gonna replace them. It's not like we're using those spring clamps after they've been used. 
Um, this one will go like so. I think this. Yeah, that's tight. Those two are in, the lower hose. We'll check that one again into the radiator. Now we're gonna have to go to the water pump. We're just gonna go down there because I gotta push it up. See how it's down under the thing. We'll check that one and pop these stuff in while we're done. Okay, okay. So let's double check. That one, see the clap clips flat? That's perfect. Okay, now let's see if I can get you decent. So we're gonna put this one on. I like that. Okay, keep that there. This one goes a little bit sort of back. Sorry. It's really tight down here. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna make sure you put it all back together. Okay, so we're done with that. Lower hose is on the water pump all the way, so we're going to go ahead and tighten that up. So let's go ahead and try for the picture, but it means they change it to sevens. Okay, for... just start up. Just make sure it doesn't leak. Right here. Um, no, actually, just start up, let it run for a minute, make sure it doesn't leak, and make sure that, is that your socket down there? It's not on all the way. Okay. No way. Okay, it's tight. Cool. So, lower hose. Um, you can see over here, if you guys can see this. I don't like that right there. Make sure this is all the way down. I always try to check all my hoses for chafing when I'm done. Because you really don't want to rub a hole through it. But what we're going to do to try to combat that, I loosen this a little bit. We're going to twist it. Twist it like that. Try to keep it away from it as much as we can. Like that. Cool, okay. So that's away from that. I'm cool with that now. Okay, now we need to do the e balancer. So let me get, I think this camera's about to die. Fairly certain it is. That's the same one, right? I'll use this camera. 0% there, so it's about back, so I'm gonna stop it. And... Okay, so now we're gonna put the balancer back on. You, know, you gotta make sure this is the front, this is the back. You can tell because the timing mark goes towards the back. And there's a, there's a little pin on the crank.
we're done with that. Let's grab the idlers. be in between so I don't know how see these marks this line on tension you want that line to be in between because one side to be loose one side to be too tight so you always want to kind of pay attention to that too okay now what I like to do next is before we put anything else back on I'm gonna change this upper hose and then we're gonna do a uh, vacuum test on the coolant system so let me clear off some of this stuff up here now we're not going to need to get out of the way and then we'll start got two new hose clamps because I don't like to use them the fix this one's kind of sucked
now um, we're gonna do thermostats. He's gonna come back next week for the rest of the stuff. But I'm not gonna do thermostats today because we have to change his housing. Whoever was up here last, they broke it. Whatever. But you can see this is cracked. This little spot right here. So we're gonna hold off on those until he gets the housing for it. But we're gonna start the vacuum process just to make sure the system's good. I'm gonna take again some tools back with me every time I go. They started to get sucked down. They started to get smashed. Yeah, he's gonna come back for. We're gonna do heater hoses. There's another coolant hose for the EGR cooler we're gonna replace. And then I'm gonna get a thermostat housing for him too. So someone already broke down. I just don't wanna take it apart and then I take it apart again next time. So I figured we'll just do it in one shot and be done with it. We're gonna put that sound club back in right there. Popped out. But. We're going, tonight it takes a while to get down there. While this is going, we'll pull our tool out. See, like I said, leave the creeper in. About it. See when you loosen, I, I back, turn the engine backwards a little bit just to get some uh, some room on it, and it goes just like this. And you just bend it, pop right in like butter. Let it sit and see. Let's make sure it doesn't drop. Hmm. Mm, it looks good. So we're gonna start filling it. And this had green in it mostly, so we're gonna use green. Turn it back on. So we're gonna suck some air in it, prime the line, pull it, and then we're gonna start filling. Pretty simple little contraption.
fun part. There's one thing I always screw up on these. Because I don't keep track of which side goes where. Right, just set them down and line it up and see if it fits. back in.
these for the that side over there. There's little pins on the fender on the, the fan shrouds you want to line up. This I didn't know. It's metal. It's bolted in the tank. I've never, I've never seen one. The fuel filter's inside the tank. Tight. Don't forget to clip this back in. If you can see past my big head, pop that back in. Keep that out. I've never seen a fuel pump like that. At first I thought you have to replace the tank, but they sell them. So you, it is under the back of the truck? Yeah, suppose you rotate it. It comes out. Oh. I gotta put some of the stuff back on the engine, and then I need to, uh, Change the fuse box too. The fuse box is fried. This? No, the bolt side. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of some of these tools. They're not in my way. Okay, these are pretty easy. These pop right in. They're all broken by this time. Someone put the, the one of the pins. It's rubber grommets in the wrong one. We're gonna move it, so hopefully it lashes down a little bit. There's that. At least it kind of works, you know. Goes in like that. 
There, I got something. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Okay, now so I got those two in. Sorry, I had to use, oh yeah, that's a nice sound. I had to use both my hands. Okay, let's grab my impacto. We're gonna tighten these. Try not tighten them too tight. I've already split the cover. Okay, there's that. We're gonna leave the bucket. We'll get the bucket in a second. Live for a start, let's see what happens. 